Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing shiplap on a few walls in my basement. And with the prices of wood right now, I found a really cheap and easy way to do shiplap for half the price. Now a couple months ago we redid our laundry room using the same shiplap board style wall and it turned out really nice so we're going to use the same style again and finish off a few more walls to match this one and close in where my shop is and keep all the dust and everything out of the house. So this turned out really nice and like I mentioned before half of the price of actual shiplap. Now I'm going to run to the store and grab several sheets of plywood and I'm going to be ripping this down to 7 and 5 eighths. You can go up to 7 and 3 quarter and that's going to be about perfect. There's going to be very little to no waste at the end. You'll be able to rip just enough boards out of this sheet of plywood. Next I'm going to cut these boards to length and start at the bottom and work your way to the top of the wall. That way every single wall has a full board at the bottom it will all look uniform and look really nice. Also I'm going to keep it up off of the ground about a quarter of an inch in case any moisture comes up from the cement floor. You don't want that soaking into the wall or rotting anything out. So I'm going to keep that up off of the ground just a little bit. I'm going to be nailing these into the wall with a brad nailer or finish nailer right into the stud framing wall right behind it. So you'll want to make sure you're getting right on the studs or else this is not going to hold. Depending on what style you're wanting to go for, you can choose to put spacers in between each of these boards like pennies or washers just to gauge and make sure all the spaces are the same. That way it shows off that they're individual boards a little bit nicer once you paint them. I chose not to do that. Now I'm going to temporarily take off the light switch cover and the switch out of the box so that I can frame the boards around this. Now you really want to be careful, make sure you shut off the power and test it, make sure the power is off on that box before you take anything apart and don't do anything you're not comfortable with. So I'm going to go ahead and frame up this wall. It goes really quick once you get started. You can easily just cut the boards and nail them up and go really fast. Now that I'm done with this wall, I'm going to put the switch cover back on and the switch back in place just temporarily till I go to paint. So that way it's a lot safer and we can turn the power back on to that switch. Now this will also work over top of drywall. You can see in this section right here, there's already drywall put up and only one coat of spackle over top. And you'll just wanna make sure you get a little bit longer nails to go through the drywall into the studs. And you'll wanna make sure that you find the studs and mark those properly before you start nailing up the boards. Also in this section, you'll notice I've started out on the top and worked my way down. That's because I can't get to the bottom of the floor, the cement floor to find out where to start. So I just lined this up with the other corner made sure everything looked good. I'm just about done putting the plank walls up. I now need to take another sheet of plywood and rip this down into strips at two and a half inches wide and I'll use this as trim to trim up some of the corners and edges on the wall. Now these strips will be perfect for around things like doors, windows, on the corners, and along the floor if you want trim on the floor as well. So I'll quickly put those up, and this is starting to close it in and make it look a lot nicer. If you don't wanna put corner moldings on some of the corners, you'll just wanna make sure your cuts are more precise and you will be able to butt them up perfectly and not have to put trim over top. I knew I was gonna put trim, so the cuts weren't exactly perfect. If it was within an eighth of an inch, I was perfectly fine with that because it was gonna be covered up. 
I'm also going to be putting a square molding over top of the inside corners. It looks a little weird to have larger boards in the inside corners. This works a lot better and once it's painted it looks really nice. If you like this video so far, or if it will save you some money with this idea, hit that like button down below. It helps me out a ton and helps me create more videos just like this one for you guys. Now I'm finished with the planks as well as trimming this all up. All I need to do now is to put a couple coats of paint over top of this. So I'm gonna be using just simple latex interior paint and primer, and this will cover really well. Within two coats, I'll be done. Now the wall's finished, a couple coats of paint, and it looks really nice now. So that part is fixed up. I need to now fix up the rest of this area, the entryway into the basement and going upstairs. There's old copper pipes on the wall right here for the washer and dryer hookup that used to be on this wall, not there anymore. I need to take those off, clean it up. The stairway does not have a railing, which isn't safe, carrying laundry baskets up and down, and Gemma getting old enough to start going up and down these stairs too, she needs a railing. The floor is really dirty, so I'm gonna be working on cleaning this up and painting this so it stays cleaner, easier, and I really wanna build a shoe shelf right here to keep all my work boots and shoes as well as a coat rack for those to be hung up when you come in the door you can take them off and put them there now i'm also building a railing for next week so if you're interested in that i have it mostly finished now so that video will be showing next week this is a really simple way to build a railing and it's going to look really nice once it's all finished so stay tuned next week you'll see how this turns out Thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I upload a new video each week. So if you wanna make sure you watch those, hit that subscribe button. That will also help me keep making videos and know you guys are interested in the content. So help me out, hit that subscribe button, like it, and leave any comments or questions you have down below and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next one.